So let's download AngularJS. Let's actually work in this project. Now, what we're gonna do here is something very, very simple, and that is literally just downloading the AngularJS file. Now, JavaScript is a lot different than backend languages because JavaScript works in the web browser. So right now I'm using Chrome, that's Google Chrome, um, but it would work in Firefox, it would work in Safari, Opera, you know, every web browser out there, it, AngularJS will work as long as JavaScript itself is, is, is required or used in that particular browser. Most browsers do that. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna download AngularJS. Notice when I click on this, I hit a few different options as to what I can do. There's a CDN, Bower, NPM, and extras. There's other modules that you can download this with, or you can just click download. So what's the difference between all these things? Well, Bower and NPM are two different sort of package managers. Package managers meaning each file itself, so each Angular project um, is actually a package. Each JavaScript project is a package. So when you hear of Angular, that's considered a JavaScript package. Um, it's also considered a JavaScript library. Those two, those things are interchangeable. Now, Angular in of itself um, has different versions, right? So there's, right now we're using version 1.5.8, but notice it also has version 1.2.x here. So legacy versions, but 1.2.x, x meaning that last version number there, which usually has incremental changes and it's not usually that big. So 1.5, is like a bigger change than 1.4, but 1.5.8 and 1.9, they're not that big of a deal. But anyway, so those changes are tracked over time and you wanna be able to download the version that you wanna work with. So for us, we're using version 1.5.8. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And if you notice in your downloads, what you should see is something like this. It doesn't have anything on the version itself right there, but if I click it and actually open it up, right the first line will tell us the version so that's how we know what version number we're going to be using with angular and notice this automatically opened for me in sublime text 2 because that's what we're going to be working with now this is the minified version of the angular js which we'll talk about later but these other versions are other places of where you can get it the cdn version is something we will use but for now we don't need to worry about that we just needed to download angular um, min.js so in the next one, we will actually get this started.